Named for the groundbreaking astronomer, the Hubble Space Telescope allows us to look deep into the universe, back in time and closer to the moment of the Big Bang. But for scientists, winding back the clock to the Big Bang was only the first step. When people first hear about the Big Bang Theory, they say, well, where did it take place? It took place over there, it took place over there. Where did it take place? Actually, it took place everywhere because the universe itself was extremely small at that time. These are only some of the most abstract and difficult concepts there are. So here's a mind bender. What came before the Big Bang? The philosophers in ancient times used to say, how could something arise from nothing? And what's amazing to me is that the laws of physics allow that to happen. And it means that our whole universe, everything we see, everything that matters to us today, could have arisen out of precisely nothing. It's one of the biggest hurdles to understanding the Big Bang. First, you have to buy into the premise that something was created out of nothing. It's impossible to describe the moment of creation in human language. All we know is that from what may have been nothing, we go to a state of almost infinite density and infinite temperature and infinite violence. Understanding how nothing turned into something may be the greatest mystery of our universe. But if you understand that, you start to understand the Big Bang, when time and space began and a great big explosion created everything.